Man, you want how much? Damn. I tell you what, how about you just pour the dirt in my hand and I give you $20. What's going on prospectors? Big Daddy out here in the shed bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And today, and I know I say this a lot, but today I got a big one for you. I got a special one going here today. Biggest, or well most expensive bag anyways, not the biggest, but definitely the most expensive bag that I've purchased to date. We picked ourselves up from goldnuggetsales.com the 11 for 10 bag. Now this bag is 11 grams of gold guaranteed. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of gold, big ass pile at the end here. I'm super excited about it. Now this bag is gonna run you about 640 bucks, 639.95 cents, rounded up 640, um, is how much this is gonna cost you. Now what the description here says, and I'll pop it up here for you so you can tag along with, Super rich bag of pay dirt with three pounds of beach sands and a guaranteed 11 grams of gold. All the gold's from Alaska. Ranges from sub 40 flower gold to a guaranteed 1.5 gram nugget. So there's going to be a nugget in here. A gram and a half of weight just in the nugget. This is going to be one hell of a bag. This is going to be one hell of a cleanup. So don't go anywhere. Hang out. We're going to pop this baby open and we're going to find us some gold for real. Now, the bag ships to you in the old USPS flat rate free plastic pop bubble wrap, wrap bag. For being such an expensive bag of dirt, I kind of would have liked to see it in a hard box um, just to give it that much more protection. But that being said, nothing did happen to it on the way here. It ships from Longview, Washington. So that's, you know, that's not too far from where I'm at. Uh, so it's fine for most pay dirt. But like I say, this is a pretty pricey bag of dirt. So I'd like to see a little bit more care taken to make sure it gets to me in one, one piece. Though it did, so I'm not complaining much. <laughs> Just a suggestion on, on something like this. I'd like to see it get a little bit more protection on the way here. I've definitely had bags get ripped, torn, and uh, and whatnot, but not the case here. Everything arrived so far so good. Definitely adds a little bit of extra. Well, I do give them credit. They do double bubble wrap it. Double bubble. Got that double bubble baggy going and so we got our bag in a bag now this one is sealed in a similar manner but no extra tape around it so you know what i'll take it back he puts enough effort to to seal that part portion of it up but if it did get damaged i'd have to file a claim with somebody i guess because this is a pretty expensive bag of dirt now the bag itself inside the second bag so technically it's double bag but inside of there, this guy's just hanging out. Boom! Three pounds of dirt in this big old bag. The 11 for 10. $640 worth of pay dirt right there. And hopefully a crap ton of gold. It's heavy. The bag is sealed, so all good there. And it's a pretty decent quality bag that they ship in, so... I doubt it would have had any problems getting here anyways, and it didn't, so there we go. All right, so let's flip over to the other camera. We'll pour this out in one of the bowls or pans, and then we'll get to classifying. So don't go anywhere. We're going to shake this out and check it out. The 11 for 10 from goldnuggetsales.com. All right, welcome back. We got our bowl ready to go. 
got our big old bag of dirt. So let's check this stuff out before we start classifying it up. See what we're working with. See if we see any big old chunks of gold right off the bat. Pour this into my little collapsible. And we can take a closer look at what kind of pay dirt we have here. Some big rocks in here. A little bit bigger than should be in something like this. I do see some sticks and twigs and shells, a little piece of lichen, some river shells, some moss. This is very, very organic filled dirt. All right, so that's our three pounds of dirt right there. Good mixture of different kinds of river stones. Uh, some a little bit bigger, like I say, I don't like big rocks like this in my pay dirt that I'm buying. You know, that should be classified out before it gets put in a bag. That just adds extra unnecessary weight. Those are going to get classified. That's the kind of stuff when you shake your pan down, you just grab right off the top and throw out. So there's really no need for those kind of big rocks in your pay dirt. But they're there. We'll work them out. We'll get them out of the way right up front here with the quarter inch classifier. Uh, and then break down everything to its sizes and uh, hopefully find a nugget somewhere here along the way. So let's get shaking. And let's see if we can find us some gold. All right, so let's start with quarter inch, get all this big stuff out of the way, lighten the load. I do see some gold floating down into there. So that's always a good sign when you see the gold dry. There's a picker right there. Oh, whoa, hold the phone, hold the phone. Look at that. But that's, that's not what I'm stopping the presses for. But we are gonna just put that, ding, this little guy. That's what caught my eye. Oh, look at that. That is one pretty nugget. Ding! All right, let's keep going. I can see more gold in here, so there's, there's got to be a lot of gold in this dirt. I'm excited. I mean, there should be a lot of gold in it. I paid for a lot of gold. $600 is not a cheap bag of dirt, let me tell you. But, I feel like it is going to be so very worth it. Whoa, whoa, where'd you go? There's a lot of nice pickers that are just sliding through here. Where'd you go? There you are. Ooh, look at that one. That one's cool. There's another one. Ding! All right, at some point there, I probably decided to go ahead and speed things along. Um, just because I didn't want you guys to get bored shaking it out. So you probably just got a few highlight clips. But here we are with everything all classified out. We got a great spread of our dirt. There was three pounds to, to, to shake out here. And so let's kind of take a look at what we wound up with. Now, here in the small pan, we got our plus quarter inch stuff. Lots of really big rocks that don't belong in pay dirt, at least not shipped pay dirt, at least in my opinion. Um, half inch, I think, is probably about the biggest I expect to receive in pay dirt, and that's on the rare occasion. This is a fair amount of material that probably wouldn't, shouldn't just, just shouldn't be here. It's, it's wasted weight. Um, 
and it's it's the very first thing you would get rid of out at the river anyways so i'm not sure why it's in the pay dirt it's just a little bit too big and that adds to the overall amount of plus quarter inch that we wound up with there's a lot of little shell fragments in here uh some, saw some lichen in there so it definitely feels like natural pay dirt absolutely there's twigs so this definitely came from the river um just some of the stuff probably could have and should have stayed at the river a little agate right there here's the rest of it i think uh so so yeah that's your plus quarter next down we got our plus 10 mesh and we see some more twigs that made it through long ways we'll just get rid of that uh, more of those little river clams and we definitely abs shit, absolutely are seeing gold in here and once you got gold in your fingers ding put it away and there's a lot of pickers in here so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go through here because i want to i want to run it down the sluice and that's where it's supposed to get caught but man i'm having a really hard time ding not just grabbing it because there's so many pieces that immediately catch my eye they're all over the place all okay i need to stop there's gold in the plus 10. we'll leave it at that next we got our plus 20. Now here we got about the material halfway up the first riffle in the uh, little pan here. A good amount of material. Everything is roughly about the same amount of material, maybe a little bit more here, less there, but it's a good even spread. Uh, and you see gold. You move it around, you see gold. There's gonna be a huge cleanup of gold here. And it's gonna be beautiful. And I'm excited. You can hear it in my voice, I'm sure. I'm excited. This is going to be good. But that's what we got to work with in the plus 20. Next, we're up at the plus 40. About the same amount of material. And here's where I'm going to bother with checking magnetics. And the plus 40, along with all that gold, there is a little bit of magnetics in there. Not a huge amount. Not, not big wands being pulled out here. Or twos. But... Definitely a little bit to contend with. Nothing big deal. Not a big deal. All right. Now down here in the sub 40, the fine, fine, the soft sands. Now I haven't, I don't visually see any gold in here, but maybe. Yeah, I think I just saw a little flake. But what we can see at this point is if there's any magnetics hanging out here. And yeah, proportionate amount in the finer material. And that's, this is where it all winds up anyways sitting down here so there will be a little bit of magnetics to deal with at the end i'm not really too worried i'll probably pull them off on the sluice but overall a really good spread of material here so next step we're gonna get it wet fire up that sluice and we're gonna get us some gold so don't go anywhere we'll be right back all right welcome back we're ready to go that dirt is all wetted up and this sluice is ready to go. So, let's get our shovel out of the way. Actually, this sluice needs just a little bit of adjustment, I think. A nice level flow coming off of it. Maybe up the flow just a hair. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start off with the plus 10 stuff. I'm letting the plus quarter inch stuff soak again. I didn't see anything shiny in there. So if anything, I'm just hoping that maybe some flake falls off as, as dust. But definitely know there's some gold to be found in here, so let's get to it. Let's pour the organics that are floating off first. And now let's dig in. I think that's maybe a topaz. By the way, it's all rounded off. Or maybe just a quartz. Uh, cool little gem thingy to be found. Get a 
vermilion, agate. It could be all sorts of different things. It's, the colorless stones are not always obvious. Don't miss anything. There it goes. Alright, so I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I think I'm probably going to go and make another one of those just loosens or sluicen and shakens and uh, put all the extra content just to speed things up. But the people who want to see it all, You'll catch it all. So we're going to fast forward here a little bit. And I'll see you back when we got our gold. Keep thinking, oh, we're going to see a bunch of gold here. Man, we've seen a bunch of gold everywhere. It's this amazing pay dirt. This really, really pays off to uh, save your pennies and get some really good pay dirt. Jimmy Stones. All right. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. so I don't fry my camera. But I am very excited to see what's underneath here. I'm not going to look either. I'm going to wait until I bring you guys over. Oh, I couldn't help myself. I got a peek. Now you guys get a peek. There's your gold, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there was too much. And it started making its way down. So there's gold even down here. A um, little bit of a bummer to see it that far down. But I'm going to repan all the tailings anyways, just to be sure we didn't miss anything. But man, that is looking nice. Big chunky gold. And that's not even including these big pieces that we already pulled out as uh, pickers. So let's get this cleaned up and find us our gold. 
Sometimes it's raining in the cans, so much gold falling off the map. There's your gold, baby. Look at that. Oh my God. Come on. This is oh, it's so beautiful. These giant nuggets. Gold of all sizes, all the way down to that really fine stuff, really micro fine stuff in there as well. Uh, definitely some sub 40 stuff. I got to be careful. It doesn't want to float away. But man, that's just a huge amount of gold right there. Uh, I'm going to get all this suckered up dried out and all that i'm going to repan the tailings just to be sure that i got all this but man look at that 11 grams of gold maybe more stick around and find out all right welcome back dirt fans we are back here with goldnuggetsales.com 11 for 10 natural gold pay dirt um <laughs> we got the gold and man it is nice so far so good let's go ahead and move on and get this weighed out minor bob and the ass are hanging by and they are eagerly anticipating to see what we got here now there was this big giant nugget that we picked out of there and they say this guy's supposed to be at least one and a half grams let's see what that by itself weighs out 1.734 grams of gold right there just that one nugget 1.734 so i'm gonna put that to the side we got this other nugget, more of a picker, but still pretty decent size. This guy right here was almost three quarters of a gram, 0 0.743 grams of gold. Just this one here by itself. There was a few other fairly decent sized pickers in there. You know, that's three tenths of a gram. That one's six tenths of a gram together. Combined, they are one whole gram. Uh, there's just a lot of big chunks here. So, those are the biggest pieces. Now let's get to the bulk of it. Tear it out one more time. And let's see what we got. And then we'll add that all together and see what overall we wound up bringing home. A couple of these do have some quartz embedded to them. 6.5, 6 6.7, 8, 9, 7 grams, 7, 5, and then some dust in there, a little bit of silicate, or, uh, yeah, 7.643, and we're going to add this big nugget back in there, 9.3, 10.4, this thick one right here, 10.740. And then finally, this picker takes us to a grand total of 11.120 grams of gold. How about that? 11.120. Lock it in. Grams of gold. Big giant nuggets. Not giant nuggets, I mean, but they're big for pay dirt anyways. We got that 11 grams that we were promised. And man look at all that we're going to take a few pictures here i'm going to separate the gold a little bit so you can get a better idea of what all is here but that, that was pretty good but that is that is beautiful that is a weighing tray full of gold and that's what i like to see look at that look at that i feel like a rich man today that's beautiful that is just freaking beautiful so we're gonna take some pictures of that and then we'll move on to the final words and ROI. Yeah, baby.
All right, welcome back. Man, damn, what can I say? That was some awesome dirt. Uh, as always, let's go over the dirt first and then we'll get on to the star of the show, the gold. Well, wait a minute, I'm the star of the show, right? <laughs> but that dirt, mm. like you saw in the classifications, there's a good level amount of dirt uh, in all the classification zones. The only place I have any complaints about is in that plus quarter inch. Uh, there was some plus half inch stuff, which really doesn't have any place in backyard pay dirt. Um, it's a little bit big. There's nothing there and there's really no reason to include it. Uh, it just adds needless weight and effort that you know, you're going to throw that shit out. But that being said, that's really the only complaint I have about this dirt. Um, everything else was spectacular, spot on, natural pay dirt. Uh, there was a lot of organic stuff in there, like seashells, twigs, some moss, some lichen, all the stuff you're going to find out there in the river. So it was really good pay dirt in that regard. Not a lot of magnetics and heavies, so there wasn't a big battle at the end there. Um, but what I did see at the end there was just a lot of beautiful gold. And there was gold in just about every classification throughout. Um... I would say that biggest chunk may have stayed in above the quarter inch, but it may have worked its way through just from the angles of it. So we'll even count that one up at the top. There was gold in the quarter inch. If you consider that big nugget there, probably would have got caught. Um, so that's awesome. Gold at every classification is what you want to see. Otherwise, you feel like you're wasting time and effort on classifications when there is no gold there. So really awesome there. Now... The cost of the gold, the dirt, a little bit higher on the higher end, but if you consider what you're getting back, and we're going to get to the gold right now, 11.123 grams of gold is what we're banking in our vial today. Big chunky gold, nice flake gold, good fine gold. So we got gold in all three classifications, and we got back more than what we paid for. I'll just throw the thing up right now. Boom, right there. 102% ROI is what we got back. And that's why I got this bag specifically because when you're spending that much money, you want to get as much of your money back and still have a good time. And I, I honestly think this bag is going to let you do that um, and break even in the process. You can take your gold immediately, sell it back to somebody at spot and get all your money back. No problem. So you just can't lose with a bag like that. A lot of gold to see there at the end is just amazing. Um, you know, you buy these little $20 bags, $40 bags, uh, even some of the $100 bags, and you just get a little sprinkling of gold in there. A $100 bag from a lot of people is going to get you maybe a gram or so, maybe a gram and a half, um, depending on where you're getting it from, what else is in there, etc., etc., etc. But for $640, which is basically spot, you're going to get yourself 11 grams of gold at the end of your pay dirt. At the end of your, your pan, you're going to see 11 grams of gold. And there's nothing like that. A beautiful smile. That's what you're looking for. You're going to have a great cleanup. You're going to have a great time going through it. If you're not running it down a sluice, you can go take your time. Spread this bag out over a couple of sessions. Um, if you're like me and you just want to bust it down and get to your gold... A nice little sluice will clean it up just fine. You just got to take that big stuff out of there. Now, I did find, and when I was cleaning and rinsing off that big stuff, I saw some small flake go through there, and that's why I held on to it. With as much gold as I knew was going to be in this bag, it just laid to reason that there was going to be some dust stuck up on the big pieces, so I made sure to rinse those down. So if you pick up one of these bags, make sure to do that yourself as well. Clean everything because there's a lot of gold in here and it's going to get stuck to stuff uh, as it dries, you know, and whatnot. If it, if it got in there wet originally, blah, 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 blah. So just make sure you take your time. Go through there. Pan it a couple times just to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, if you're running it down a dream mat, you're probably not missing anything anyways. But pan it a second time or pan it out afterwards just to be sure you got everything. Um, but man, I, I put my, if I had a rubber stamp with an approved on it, boom, you'd see it right there on the screen. Um, because this was some awesome dirt and I absolutely recommend you go check it out. I know it's a, a pricey one to get into at 640 bucks. Um, but it's well worth it. 
you're gonna have a great time and you can easily turn that gold around and get your money back if that's a problem for you. So thumbs up all the way around. Go check one out for yourself. I'll put a link down below, but man, 600 bucks worth of gold, 650 bucks worth of gold back. I'm a happy panner today. Let me tell you. Hell yeah. I'm gonna keep these. These are mine. These nuggets are mine. But man, what a great day. So, goldnuggetsales.com. Go check them out. This is Dig Daddy for Backyard Prospecting. If you haven't subscribed, I notice there's a few people who haven't subscribed who are checking out these videos. Please do subscribe. We're going to be pushing now for a thousand subscribers and beyond. So, be a part of the crew up early. We have giveaways every Monday during the live show. Uh, if you want to become a patron, I give raffles uh, to my patron members. So, check that out as well. But otherwise, just please hit like and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new video every Sunday morning and Mondays at Monday nights for BS and in the shed. This is Backyard Prospecting and Dig Daddy signing out. If I don't see you out at the river, I'll catch you in the backyard. Peace.